I'm Rachel McClish. What we're about to do is something special. A unique exercise program that you'll come to appreciate as a foundation of your fitness routine. The exercises that follow are simple but precise. They specifically affect your body in a way that no other exercise can. This program can help shift your shape toward what you want it to be. And it works for all levels. So whether you're an old pro at working out or just beginning, male or female, you can get all the benefits you want right here. A tight, firm, strong body, increased lean body mass, an elevated metabolism, which makes you more efficient at burning fat and calories while at rest, and increased strength and flexibility. All you'll ever need to do this program is a pair of dumbbells. And if you have a bench, so much the better. How much weight for the dumbbells? Mine are eight pounds each. That's what's comfortably challenging for me. You can start with two, three, or five pounders, or if you're a beginner, try it with no weight at all and work on getting the movements as perfect as you can. Choose a weight that's comfortable. You don't need to overdo it. If you can't do all the repetitions at first, don't worry. Do as many as you can with perfection. Eventually, you'll get there. This video naturally divides in two segments. The first is for the upper body, the second for the lower body and midsection. You'll also see windows that show how to do the exercises without a bench, or give a modified version that may be more comfortable for you. But to make it simple for everybody, I recommend viewing the entire program all the way through before actually doing it. What's most important is the sequence of exercises and the perfection of motion. That's what makes this workout effective. What I love about this program is that it's concentrated exercise. We get the most workout and results for the least amount of time. Let's go! The first exercise we're going to do is called the side laterals. It affects the outer part of the shoulders called the deltoids, and here's how it's done. Lift higher than shoulder level, and as you lift, lead with the outside of your hand and your elbows. Pretend like you're pouring two big pitchers of water. Don't let gravity rob you of the other half of the cup. I'm going to give you 12 counts. Breathe in, and one, two. Try to keep your pelvis tucked in and your knees slightly flexed. Five. Six. Remember, don't hold your breath. Exhale on exertion. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Hold twelve. Bring them in. The next exercise is the alternating deltoid press, like this. Up and down. It affects the entire shoulder area. And the most important thing to remember is to keep your hand and your wrist along the same plane as your shoulder. Very good posture. Breathe in and exhale when you exert muscle power. 12 counts, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, Open and lower. Yes, the next exercise is a rear delt lateral. It affects the rear part of your shoulder muscles. Try to get your upper body parallel to the floor so you rest your upper torso on your legs. I'll demonstrate. Here again, you lead out with the outside of your arm and your wrist, but this time aim out and upward towards the top of your head. Ready? Like this. 12 counts, ready, and one. Without a bench, Two. take a wide stance. Bend Three. your legs and bend your torso forward Four. as your body juts out. Five. This position braces your back to keep it protected and parallel to the floor. Avoid jerky Eight. moves. Nine, 10, 11, last one, 12. Let the weight stretch your shoulder muscles. Okay, the next exercise is uprights. And this is for the front part of your shoulder or your anterior delts. You lift out and in towards your shoulders. 
out and in. Slowly lower. Yes, 12 of these. Ready? And one, two. Remember to keep your pelvis tucked in and your knees slightly flexed. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, two more, 10, 11, last one, 12. Lower slowly. Now we repeat the sequence we just did. Ready to follow me? Side laterals. I'm going to keep myself seated because I want to stabilize my body to really isolate my muscles. Here we go for 12. Ready? And one. Beginners should try the movement Two. without weights at first. It's not necessary to raise your arms above shoulder level. Add weight as you get stronger. Sit erect with your chest out and your shoulders back. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Hold, bring them in and alternating presses. One, two, 12 of these, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Open, lower. Now rear delt laterals, ready for 12. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Lower, let the weight stretch your muscles. Okay, uprights are next. Ready for 12. A couple of breaths. And up, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Lower the weight yeah. slowly and slightly and bend your knees. Clasp your hands behind you and stretch your muscles. Yes. Come up, arm in front and stretch it across your body. Stretch the other. We just worked a full shoulder workout. I'd like to mention something about breathing. There's a little confusion as to when and how. As a general rule, it's best to breathe in once or twice before you begin a rep movement and exhale as you actually complete your rep every time. The natural tendency we have is to hold our breath when we exert force. Sometimes I'm guilty of this, which is why I like to use exaggerated breathing. That keeps the reps rhythmic and the body oxygenated. Now let's wake up our midsection, but first try something with me. Sit down. Bring your rib cage into your pelvic area. As you tighten your stomach muscles and exhale forcefully, you're experiencing the true function of your ab muscles, which is to diminish the space between your pelvic bone and your rib cage. Keep this in mind whenever you do any ab exercises. I know this visualization has really helped me. Now let's make it interesting by adding the weight of our legs in an exercise called bench crunches. Here's the movement. <sighs> Sit on the very edge of the bench, balance yourself with your hands, and tuck your legs. The movement is to bring your knees in and aim your knees to the top of your head. Tuck and extend. I'm going to do 20. Ready? But do whatever's comfortable for you. Let's go. And one, two. Start this exercise on the floor. As you get stronger, and if it's comfortable, move to a bench. Exhale. Exhale. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, exhale, again, 18, 19, and 20, yeah. Now we're going to go to our chest muscles. First exercise is dumbbell flies. Here's the motion. Start with your dumbbells up. Slightly bend your arms and bring out your arms to your side until you feel a stretch in your chest. As you bring it up, squeeze in with your elbow and change the direction of your wrist. You open and squeeze in. Open, squeeze in. Let's do 12. Ready? And one. Start this movement on the floor. As you get stronger, and if it's comfortable, move to a bench. It may be more comfortable to put your feet up on the bench to help keep your back flat. Or if you don't have a bench, you can still work the chest by doing push-ups like this. Squeeze. Six. Come up. Inhale. Exhale. Eight. Come up. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Squeeze with your chest and 12, and in. We just did a pushing muscle, now we're going to work a pulling muscle. This works the back one side at a time, affectionately known as the lat muscle. The position of your body is like this because I want to stabilize my body. Keep your upper body parallel to the floor. Let the dumbbell stretch your lat muscle. Feel the weight. From this position, we aim up and back toward the hip, changing the direction of the wrist again. And bring it down. Get your arm up and across your back. Just like that. Let's do 12. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Without a bench, take a wide stance like before. Brace yourself with your hand on your knee. Keep your upper body parallel to the floor. Eleven, last one, twelve, and down. Stretch it. Other arm. Actually, the arm is incidental. You might think that your arm is pulling it up, but actually your lat muscle is bringing your arm up and your arm is holding onto the weight. 12 more, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, bring it down slow. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Stretch it. Okay, back to dumbbell flies. One more set. Ready? Weights up, slightly bend, and open, squeeze out. 12 of these. Lower your arms just enough to feel a stretch in your chest muscles and then exert muscle power to bring them back up. Five, squeeze, six, squeeze in with your elbow, seven, and squeeze, eight, come up, nine, up, ten, up, 11, come up, last one, 12, push in with your chest and squeeze at the top, 
One more set for the lats. Ready? Feel the weight. Stretch your lat. And 12. And one, two, three. Try your best to keep your upper body parallel to the floor. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, twelve, stretch that lat, other side. Feel the stretch. Ready, and one. Two, three, four, five. Back towards your hip. Seven, eight. Get your arm up there. Ten, eleven, twelve. Feel the stretch. Okay, grab something stable and stretch your lat muscles. Stretch it from side to side. Next, we're going to isolate the backs of the arms, starting with tricep kickbacks. Here's the motion. Once again, your upper body is parallel to the floor and your arm is just glued to your side. The movement is to extend, hold it for a split second, and bring it back down. Repeat, hold, and again. Let's do 12. Ready? And one, two, and three, four, five, six, Seven. Keep that arm stable. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. Yes. Other arm. Arm to your side. Glued to the side that is. And extend. Again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve, and down. Now for the biceps, we're going to do dumbbell curls. I'm going to stay seated to stabilize my upper body. Here's the motion. Starting position, your wrists are facing your sides. Bring up one weight and twist it outward at the end as far as you can. That slight twist at the top gives you a peak contraction at the top of the motion. That just means it isolates your bicep a little more effectively. Let's count to 10. Ready? Deep breaths. And one, two. Good posture is essential. Keep your back straight, chest out, and shoulders back. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down. Wrists out. Shoulders all the way back. Chest out and lift it up and down for five, two, three. Straight motion. Four and. Five, slowly lower. All right, back to the triceps. Now let's do one more with a slight variation. This time, 
We're going to extend, hold it, lower with a straight arm, and lift again for six. Ready? And extend, hold, lower, and lift. Bend, extend, hold, lower, and lift. Again, extend, hold, lower, and lift. Bend it again, and extend, lower, lift. I know, I feel it too. Again, extend, lower, up. Last one, extend, hold, lower, up. Boy, we know something's happening. Other arm, ready, and extend, hold, lower, lift. Extend, hold, lower, lift. Bend, extend, hold, lower, lift. Three more, extend, hold, lower, lift. Extend, hold, lower, lift. Make the last one count. Extend, hold, lower, and lift. Wow. Okay, the last set of alternating dumbbell curls. Ready for 10? Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, twist it out at the top, eight, nine, and 10. Wrist out, shoulders back, chest out, lift. Two, just three more, three, four, and five. Slowly lower. Yes. The next exercise is a triceps cross face extension, one that I made up myself. It works a very neglected inside of the arm. Here's how it goes. Grab the dumbbell and look over your shoulder. Keep your fingertips on your forearm so that when the movement is down, you can help yourself if needed. It's as simple as that. It's down and up. Okay, ready? Let's do 12. And one. It may be more comfortable to put your feet up on the bench to keep your back flat. Three. Lower. Four. Keep that arm straight up. Five. And six. Seven. And eight. And nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. And twelve. Other arm. Arm straight up. Fingertips on the forearm. And lower. One, and two, and three, four, and five. Lock it out at the top. Six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, last one. 12. Now grasp the dumbbell with both hands and scoot all the way back on your bench. If you don't have a bench, it works great on the edge of a bed. Lower it behind you until you feel a stretch in your entire upper body. Go all the way back and then come up. Let's do 10 of these. Ready and go back. Come up. Two. Up, stretch your upper body, three, and four, and five, stretch, squeeze gently as you come up for six, and seven, and 
eight, all the way back, nine, last one, stretch, 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 come up, and ten. Okay, put down the dumbbell, let's stretch a little bit more. Arm up over your head, pull your elbow in as you lean away to stretch your lat a little bit more. Other arm and stretch. Slowly hold your stretches for 10 seconds. Hands behind you. Oh, yes. This is the end of part one, a full upper body workout. If you need to, stop right here and pick it up tomorrow with the lower body and ab workout. Or just keep going. Next is a floor exercise called the oblique twist because it affects the sides of your waist called the obliques. Here's how you do it. You balance your hands behind you, roll to one side of your buttock, and as you do it, bring your knees into your body and straighten. Roll to the other side and do it again. Ready? I'll count to 20. And one, two, three. Rest your legs between reps and bring them up only to where it feels comfortable. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five more, one, exhale, four, five, okay, now let's get down to business and target the buttock with a pelvic lift. On your back, legs are comfortably apart and your pelvis is tilted forward. As you lift up, you're going to squeeze in with your knees and lower back down to starting position. You lift up and squeeze in and back. This lifting motion tightens and compresses the entire buttocks muscles while the squeezing of the knees gives you the added bonus of isolating and working the inner thighs. Okay, keeping your pelvic bone tilted forward automatically protects your lower back and forces the contraction exactly where you want it in our buttocks to tighten and lift. Ready? Let's do 15 of these. And one, and two, three. In order not to strain your neck, remember to keep your upper back and head on the floor. Six, squeeze in. Eight and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Squeeze in one more, hold at the top and lower halfway and squeeze up, down and up. Ten of these and one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, lower slowly. Yes, now just hug your knees. Okay, next is the bent knee leg lifts for the abdominals. Lie on your back and support your upper body with your elbows. Bend one knee and keep the other leg straight. Your bent knee protects your back so that it's supported on the floor. Now lift the straight leg up and down, just like this. Let's do 20. Ready? <sighs> Exaggerated breathing. Ready? And one, two, three. If you'd like, bend your knee and rest your foot on the floor. Go ahead and do smaller lifts with your straight leg. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, other leg. Ready? And one, and two, three, and four. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
50. Five more. One and two, three, four, and five. Okay, pelvic lift number two. This time, my feet and my legs are together. Here's the motion. A starting position, pelvis is tilted forward. As you lift up, open your knees, and as you lower, bring them together again. This outward motion affects the outside of the thighs and the medial glutes, which is the outside of your buttocks. Ready? Let's do 15. And one. Remember to keep your upper back and neck on the floor at all times. Four. slowly lower. Okay, now scoot your feet a little farther away from your body. Same motion. 15 more. And squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, hold 15. At this point, knee wing flutters. And 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Slowly lower. Oh, yes, I feel it. Now bring your knees back into the starting position. Lift up with the knees open at the top. 10 more knee wing flutters. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, slowly lower. Hug your knees. The things we do for a great body, huh? Okay. Jet sit-ups are next for working the abs. Start with your leg bent, and the movement is you just come up and meet your leg halfway. You curl up and back. If you need to pull yourself up, go right ahead. I'm going to count to 10 on each leg. Ready? And one, two, three. Pulling yourself up can be just as effective, if not more so, when you concentrate on form and when you breathe properly. Eight, nine, and ten. Other leg, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Back down for pelvic tilt number three. This time we're going to extend our leg straight up and lift. Here again, the pelvic is tilted forward. Fifteen of these. Ready? And one, two, three. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more. One, two, and three. Hold, ankle on your knee, and lift. One, two, three. Four, ten of these, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold and lower slowly. Other leg. This is indeed weight training, huh? Lift the weight of that leg. Ready? Fifteen. And lift. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more, one, two, three, hold, ankle on your knee, and lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold, lower slowly, okay, now hug your knees to stretch your hips and thighs, oh yes, next we do side leg crunches, this works your abs and the side of your waist, on your side, hands behind your head, aim your elbow towards the knee, 15 of these, ready, and one, two, three. If the full motion is too difficult, try not lifting both legs as high, but keep the same intent of aiming the elbow to the knee. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three more. One, two, three. Okay, other side. Hand behind your head, aim towards your knees. This motion looks scarier than it actually is. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, well, one, two, last one, three. Oh, now roll over on your stomach and just stretch up, up, side to side. Yes, look all the way back. Open and shut your mouth while your head is tilted all the way back. Ready? Oh. Open and shut. Okay, bring yourself down. Up. And stretch your arms out as you stretch your hips. The stiff-legged deadlifts are for the hamstrings and the buttocks. Starting position, stand straight with your legs locked out. Lower your torso, bending at the hip as low as you can comfortably go. If you're flexible, swing out the dumbbells at the bottom for more range of motion. From this position, come up using the force of your hamstrings and your buttocks. Go down and squeeze up 15 times. Ready? <sighs> Breathe in and one, up, two. If you've never done this before, try the motion with no weights at all, concentrating on perfect form. Five, six, seven, eight, squeeze it, nine, squeeze, ten, 11, squeeze, 12, 13, two more, make them count, one, and two, squeeze it at the top. Some people call hamstrings a leg bicep, and here's why. Kind of looks like a bicep. The function of the hamstring, or any muscle, is to get you from point A to point B. But that doesn't guarantee you a superb muscle contraction, which is what we want in any exercise. I can flex it, or I can flex it with purpose. So put your mind into the muscle to make every rep count. Now for the plie squat. A motion for thighs and buttocks. Lift one weight, feet apart, toes pointed out. It goes like this, down and up. Keep your shoulders in line with your hips. Here again, your pelvic bone is tilted forward. We're going to do 15. Ready? And down. 
one and two and three. You can really feel it in your buttocks. Four. Try to get your thighs parallel to the floor, Five. but not lower. It's better for your knees. Six. Make sure you don't overextend your knees beyond Seven. your toes. And eight and nine. Ten. Five more. One. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Squeeze it with your buttocks. Next are standing side leg lifts. Balance against a chair or a wall with your fingertips. Body erect. Here's the motion. We're going to lift four times. And on the fourth time, we're going to hold and lift four tiny times more. Lean in towards your leg rather than away from it. Ready? Deep breaths. And one, two, three. Four, hold, lift, two, three, four. Again, one. Don't worry if you can't lift your leg high. It's three. more important to lift your leg straight four, from the up, hip rather two, than go for height. Three, four, Remember to keep your upper body upright. One, two, three, four. Hold, up, two, three, four. Last time, lift, two, Three, four, hold up, two, three, four. Okay. Next, we're going to do standing calf raises. Pick up your dumbbell, hold it with one hand. We're going to work the same leg as before. Lift your leg, one leg at a time. Lift as high as you can on your tiptoes, lower slowly, then bend your knee to stretch your calf. Then straighten. We'll do ten. Ready? Deep breath. And up, down, stretch, straighten. Two, lower, stretch, straighten. Three, down, bend, up, four, and up, five, down, six, stretch, seven, down, straighten, eight, lower, stretch, up, nine, lower, stretch, up, last one, up, lower, stretch, and straighten, okay, other leg. Ready for the standing leg lifts? Standing side leg lifts, ready? And one, two, three. Hold, lift, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, lift, two, Three, four, up, two, three, four, last one, one, two, three, four, up, two, three, and four. Standing calf raises, ready, and up on your tiptoes, down, stretch, and up, again. Two, down, up, three, lower, stretch, up, four, stretch, five, stretch, six, stretch, up, seven, lower, stretch, up, eight, stretch, Nine, stretch it, last one, up, lower, stretch, 
and up. Okay, now bend all the way over and do a squat stretch. Yes, as so you squat down, push out with your elbows like this. Should feel really good. Stretch back up. Okay, grab your dumbbell. Next movement is a power movement called squats. It gets your entire lower body concentrating on your thighs and buttocks. Feet are comfortably apart. Weights are up here. As you lower, look up and aim your rib cage to the top of your thighs. This position gives you perfection of motion that protects your back and your knees. I couldn't go down any lower even if I wanted to, only if I keep my rib cage directly over my thighs like this. When you come up, squeeze with your buttocks, keeping your knees flexed but strong. Ready? We're going to do 15 of these. And one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight, nine. 10, and 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Yeah, check them out. Okay, you're gonna need this, so let's go to the medial glute compressor. It tightens the outer part of your thigh and your buttock. The motion is similar to the standing leg lifts. This time our leg is behind us at a 45 degree angle. And we're gonna lift four times with a slight bend in our leg, hold the fourth and lift four more times. In doing this motion, pretend you're squeezing a beach ball behind your leg, okay? Four sets of four. Get your breath. So in a position, body straight, ready, and lift. Two, three, hold, lift, two, three, four. Again, lift, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, again, one. Two, three, four, up, two, three, four, last one, up, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Woo, this movement may be small, but it has lots of value. Okay, one more set of standing calf raises. One leg at a time, ready, and lift up, down, stretch, straighten, two, stretch, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, stretch, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, Eight, stretch it, and up, nine, lower, stretch, up, and ten, down, stretch, and up. Okay, other side. Ready, body erect, leg out behind you, ready, Four sets of four with four squeezes. Ready? And one, two, three. Hold. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. Up. Two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. 
up, two, three, four, last set, one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, didn't know such a small movement could hurt so good, last set of calves, ready, and up, down, stretch, up, lift, down, stretch, up, three, and down, and up, four, stretch it, five, stretch, up, six, stretch, seven, stretch, eight, Stretch it, and up, nine, lower, stretch, up, last one, up, lower, stretch, and up. Okay, shake it out. Seesaw lunges are next, my favorites. Here's the motion. Weights up here, balanced on your shoulders. You step out, come up, step back with the same leg, and push off. Now the other leg. Step out, come up, step back, and push. We'll do two sets of 15 of these, okay? So take deep breaths, ready for the first set. Ready, and one. Up, step back, again. One, step up, step back, again. Three. Come up. I suggest that everyone do this exercise without weights at first, just to get perfection of motion and to find the right rhythm. Five. Be sure not to overextend your knees beyond your toes. Six. Come up. Back. Seven. Up. Eight. Nine, up, step back. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Step back and push. Relax the weight. Okay, stretch up. Come up. Grab your ankle for a little bit of a quad stretch. Boy, I really feel it in my legs, don't you? It helps to visually pick a spot on the floor to help you maintain your balance. This isn't really a power motion. It's more of a balancing motion because it's difficult to shift your body position in such a small area. Ready for the second set. Ready? A couple of deep breaths. And one. Come up, step back, and push. Two. Come up, step back, push. Three. Up, back, push. Four. Come up. Back, push, five, come up, back, push, six, up, and push, seven, up, and push, eight, back, and push, nine, come up, back, push off, ten, up, back, push, 11, up, and back, 12, up, and back, 13, up, push, 14, come up, back, push, last one, out, and back, push. Oh yes, 
All right, stretch up. Slowly come up. Grab your ankle and stretch your quad. Oh yes, hello buttocks, hello thighs. They know they're working. Next is buttock compressors. I'm gonna grab my mat and lay on the floor on my stomach. This exercise is for the buttocks and the lower back. You start out by flexing your legs. This will automatically lift your legs off the floor. Brace one foot. Now your other leg is ready for the movement. Ready? It's very simple. Lift up and down. When you bring it up, flex it forcefully. And when you bring it down, keep it in the semi-contracted state. In other words, don't relax your buttocks between reps. Let's do 10. Ready? And lift. If you'd like, go ahead and rest your head on your arms. Lift your legs only as high as you can with strict form and work up to the suggested number of repetitions. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Brace this foot, now the other leg. Ten more and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, and squeeze. And eight, nine, last one. You slowly bring it down. Okay, relax for a moment. Cross your leg over, reach over with the other arm, reach back and stretch. Look over that shoulder and stretch your spine. Oh, I think this feels great. Other leg, ready? Reach across and back. Come up again. Reach. Look up. Feet together. From this position, push your legs out with your elbow. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs. Look down towards your feet in this position. Look up. Come up. One of the great things about the human body is that it's a self-healing creation that adapts to any given stress. A natural response to this stress is that you will naturally become stronger with all the benefits that come with that. Congratulations, you've just completed a workout you can use for the rest of your life. In order to get satisfaction from any fitness program, we need three things. Number one, the foundation is the weight training, the only exercise that affects our muscles directly and specifically, and the only thing that can change the shape of our bodies. We need aerobic exercise, such as brisk walking, cycling, running to efficiently and effectively burn fat as a unit evenly all over the body. And finally, we need smart and healthy eating habits. This program gives you the best results when performed every other day or two. This allows your body to respond to the stimulation of the weight sequence on your off days. Honor your body by responding to its signals. If you're uncomfortably sore, lay off an extra day. Tune in and listen to your body to know the difference between overexertion and the pleasing sensation in the muscles, sometimes called soreness. That indicates that something special is happening from the inside out. Your body will love it. Thanks for joining me on the Shape Shifting video. Remember that whenever you go on a quest for a healthier, stronger body, this is a video you can always come home to.